As you will hear, chaps and chap, it's Game Chap and Bertie here. Yes. Yes, videos, and I dare say we are very excited, are we not, old chap? Oh, because yes, I tell you, videos, it's here, you know. Yes, it's here. Yes, videos, the Minecraft 1.8 Bountiful update has at last been released today, you know. Oh, it's thank goodness you told me that. The 1.8 update, it's here, and it's not late. Uh, well, it's not only. Now, this particular update for Minecraft is arguably the longest development Minecraft entry we have yet had in the entire series. It's been in development for 300 days, goodness me. 300 days? My goodness me, isn't that nearly a year? Well, yes, indeed, Elf. And do you know what? What? You can do that. No, you can't. You can do that. Look at that. You can put... Uh, no. You oh. can put buttons on the ceiling. That's, uh, that's very interesting, aren't no, you? Can, no, you couldn't work. even get it right, Elf. I put no. it there, I say. Oh, there. Here, look, look, look. This is it. Yes. You see, the best here. There, look at that. Oh, my word, videos. It's absolutely yes. lovely. Look at that. Buttons on the ceiling, I say. Uh, yes. uh, can we get back to the video, Arjun? Yes, and what's Thank more? You. Did you know this? What? Mr. Mayor's got a failsafe mechanism. Uh, has he yes. heard it? What's can this? you go away, visual look. silly blacksmith? What are you doing, I say? Goodness me. Mr. Mayor's failsafe's not working! Yes, it is. Don't worry. Try again, old boy. Donk! N no! There uh, we. Uh, there. Hold on. That's there, it. There, look at that. Oh, lovely, and my brother. And bring him back like this. Look, he's safe. Don't worry. Don't worry. He's there. He's quite safe, yeah, my brother. That's it. That is, of course, a mechanism that uses the latest Minecraft 1.8 update. Rather clever, I say. It most certainly does, but it, it's, you don't get that with the update. You have to make that, you uh, Oh, yes, of course. Yes. That works with the new slime block videos, which, of course, we have shown you previously. But to discuss a special feature of sorts, and yes. indeed, we'll be covering special extra features in this video game. We will. Firstly, I say, did yes. you know, go yes. to your options menu in ah. this new update, video settings, and as you can see, we can crank the render distance from 12 chunks right the way up to 32 chunks, old chap. 32 chunks of what? Render distance. Now, of course, oh, if we go outside for 32 chunks of chocolate. Yes, indeed. As you can see, videos, it gives us an absolutely, well, when it loads, I say. Um, well, when you turn on 32 chunks yes. and you go outside, the game actually crashes because it can't handle it, you see. But, oh. uh, never mind. But, uh, uh, anyway, goodbye, buddy. Uh, bye bye. I'm going now. Yes, bye bye. Nice to know you. Yes, it was. Yes, yes. As you can see there, videos, seriously, the distance is now coming into view. You are going to need a beefy computer of sorts in order to handle 32 chunks. But, as you can see, yes. the view is well worth it and very impressive. Impressive. It most certainly is. Look at that. It's 32 chunks. So it's far, far more further or longer away than we yes. could see before. That's right, of course. It really is a huge distance of render there, as you can see. If you don't mind, I'm going to turn it back now because my machine's about to explode, all right? Oh, yes, you do so. And I've come back now. I've got some lettuce for the gerbils. No, for the hamsters, but they need it quickly. Yes, they do, please, old boy. Back down to 12 for now. Thank you. Uh, right, now, buddy, observe yes. here. This is another new feature, a rather special one, of course. Special and that is oh, our adventure me. mode is brand new in this update. Oh, you get swings and slides and things like that, isn't it? No, not <laughs> swings and <laughs> slides, in it. Adventure, isn't it? Game mode 2 bird chap like so, yeah. and as you can see, try breaking things, old boy. Uh, try breaking things? Yes. Are you sure? I don't do things like that normally. Uh, uh, no, you never do, do you? Yeah. Try breaking some blocks, man. Mind that block there. Oh, well, if I have to, I feel bad about this, but there. Uh, ah, you see, you can't touch that, old boy. That's no, indeed, it is. What? Game what? mode 2, also known what? as adventure mode. I can't break anything! Yes, all right. It's just like the old quest for the golden monocle, old chap. You, you have to survive in the world, you know. Oh, wait a minute. I can't break a thing. What's going on? Well, of course, this mode is designed for adventure maps that allow you to play for rather exciting and fun challenges that people in the, in the community have made, you say. Are you sure? Are you sure I'm it's not a game ruiner? It's not a game ruiner. It's only a game mode, old chap. Uh, a game mode. Oh, yeah. Well, you can't break blocks in it. So there we are. So there's loads of things you can do. So if you've got some bad people you don't like... Take them along to this world and they can't bust it up. I've what? pulled you back now, don't worry, old boy. Oh, wonderful, this didn't work. No, oh, no, so Bertie, it. stop it, Bertie. No, no. Right, Bertie, I've just had a word with the blacksmith, Elf. Have you really? He has promised me yes. and assured me that yes. he's got me some brand new tools, you know. Is that all? Brand new Brand new tools? Not too bad. Well, well I dare say, videos, using resource packs, it is now possible to adjust the appearances of in-game items and models. That's right, you can actually have custom 3D models for things in the game. You most certainly can. Apparently, it now defines the shape of those models and also blocks as well. That's right. Look here, videos. As you can see, here is a wooden pickaxe, here is a golden pickaxe, here is a diamond hoe. Now, as you can see there, there you go. These are custom models, you know. That's marvellous, I say. Oh, oh look at that. My goodness, that one. Yes, indeed, videos. There you go. Thank These you things are rather clever. This pack was a community-made pack made by Menowir, and of course makes the tools in Minecraft into 3D models. Aha! Have you got any more in there? I have, old boy. Well, what do we have here? Let's have a look. We have a mace. What's a mace, old chap? A mace? 
uh, it's for reading people, I'm sure. That's amazing, old boy. Yes, it is, yes. So, Videos, if you had a mod pack that compiled together a block changer with 3D models and, yes. of course, an item changer with 3D models, you could really have almost an entirely new gaming experience. I dare say this is a marvellous idea. It most certainly is, yes, indeed. It adds a lot of sort of reality to Minecraft. It's rather clever, I say. Oh, I, I've broken something. N never mind. Never mind, I'll put it back. Here we are. I see Artobard. Do you all see yon enemies in the distance, old boy? Yon enemies? Uh, nay, good sir. I see none. Uh, well, we're going, we're going to shoot the iron golem. Tally ho. Oh, yeah, that's rather fun. Great shot, old chap. What? Oh, good uh, Yes. Anyway, fellows, now of course I guess it, the next rather special new feature, yes. which I guess it, we have shown you previously, but all the same it bears repeating, I say, because it's so good, is the new player model. The new player model is indeed extremely important, plus the thinner arms. Yes, as you can see there, we of course have now Alex as a player model in addition to Steve. Indeed, you'll be able to choose between it, Alex and Steve in the future via your Mojang profile, and as you can see she sports thinner arms and a brand new skin. She most certainly does, yes, a very interesting, well, and completely different addition to Minecraft we've never seen before. That's and right. And would it herald more coming after her? Or him? Or it? L like what, old chap? Um, journals. No, I... I Journal skins! I, I really don't think so, old boy. I, well, there might be more players, though. They could be different sort of Steves and Alex's, I suppose. And, and players that have features, you know, and, and, and bigger features and, and things, you say? What do you mean? Well, well nothing. Nothing at all. C no. Carry on. Oh, right. Uh, right, well, uh, anyway. Yes. Right, but in this way, oh boy. Right, right. so the next feature we're going to show you is a rather yes. important change of sorts, ah. which, of course, pertains, yes, indeed, pertains to enchanting, you know. Uh, pertains to enchanting. It sounds all important, doesn't it? It does indeed. I guess it. Mu Yang or Mu Jang have completely and totally changed the way enchanting works, courtesy, I believe, good day, sir, hey. of Mr. Jeb, you know. Mr. Jeb's changing enchanting, has he? He has it, right. You'll have to press the button on the wall, old chap. Do I? Ah. There's a good Chap. How do we get help? Like using the button on the door, of course. Ah, uh, uh, no, uh, it is the wrong place. Cut the tape. Ah! ah, but on our way here, as yes. you can see, this is also worth noting. These beacon blocks will, of course, now emit a beam of light, which is dependent upon the piece of stained glass in their path. There oh, you go. Yes, most certainly, this is a rather fun addition. You can have all sorts of different colours, which we've covered before, have we not? We have, anyway, but nonetheless, a rather interesting feature there. As you can see, red. Oh, I must say, this is rather clever, old elf. It is. Go on, they do another one. No, 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 come on, Bertie. Enough playing with the toys, I said. <laughs> Fun though, isn't it? We're going to the enchanting room, as you can ah. see. This is, of course, the enchanting room. Now, indeed, as you the can HQ see, Game Jam and Bertie enchanting room. We can no longer simply place the Golden Sword of Justice into the enchanting table. We're uh. going to have to use some lappy lazuli. Lappy Lazuli? What? Yes, indeed, Vanilla. You can't just do it. The formerly useless block known as Lappy Lazuli can now be placed into your enchanting table. And as you can see also, the way the enchanting system works has also been changed. You can see the name of the first enchantment in the list along with various other things. Yes. And of course, those enchantments there won't actually change until you've enchanted something. Aha! So it's better then? Well, I think so. Of course, beforehand, you used to be able to take out and put the items in very, very quickly like so. But of course, that's no longer the case. The seed for the enchanting list is the same each time until you actually enchant something like that. Uh -huh. Then, of course, you'll get a new set of things afterwards. For example, this bow, as you can see, now yes. has different numbers next to the various categories. And if we place another golden sword into the enchanting table, yes. like so, and to wait for it, else, there we are. Yes. As you can see, different numbers once more. But in order to get a different item, you'll yes. have to actually spend those points and the levels to get an enchanted sword. Aha! So now we've got an well, in addition to the GUI, as it were, with an extra box for which we have to put in Lapu Lazzy or something like that. Lapu Lazzy! Lapu Lazzy! Lapu Lazzy! Lapu Lazzy! Lapu Lazzy! Lapu Lazzy! It's a lovely blue stone with, with knobbly bits on it. It's a blue stone that you find out all. Well, it's everywhere, never, never mind, but. Yes. Yes, now apparently there's also loads of interesting commands that have also been added. That's right, of course. For you technical buffs out there, you may appreciate the array of new commands that have been added to the game, which can do rather clever things. They most certainly can. Show, show, show. We shall open by. In this case, observe, as you can see, we are standing on, uh, let's see here, minus 204 by 66 by 5, and up here we have minus 204 by 73 by 5. Yes, now, we do. should we do this, I say? Fill minus 204 by 66 by uh, 75, was it, old chap? I I've forgotten. Press uh, F3, man. Uh, F3, uh, yes, F3, uh, what was it? Um, it's uh, by 5. Okay. By 5. Yes. Fill minus 204, 66, 5 to minus 204, 77, uh, say, 5 yeah. with gold like so. Oh. As you, uh, uh, no, no, gold block. That's it. That's the one. Let's do the command videos. And but, as you can oh. see, we have a column of golden blocks. Lovely. So the fill command 
active in, uh, well, a creative, I presume, only. Uh, active with the uh, command powers enabled, of course, and allows you to fill any, well, uh, well, confined space, should I say, in Minecraft, with a block of your choice. Now, of course, the maximum dimensions of that confined space are limited at the moment, in order to ensure your computer doesn't bloody well explode trying to process it, but yes. nonetheless, it's a rather handy command in the style of previous plugins like World Edit, etc., and so forth. Ah, so it will work in uh, survival or three. Yeah, well, I suppose so. In creative, of course, will be its main use, because yes, you don't generally tend to go around cheating with commands in survival mode, do you, old chap? Do, uh, do you? Uh, oh, oh, no, oh, no, never, 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 never. I'm glad to hear so. Of course so. not. Goodness me. Yes, so this could be used to build things in all, all sorts. Yes, indeed, but else, of course, as you can see, I'm struggling a bit here, because also in the latest Minecraft 1.8 update, the system has been changed to use names cooked up by some of the Mojang chaps, rather than the item IDs we had before. Oh. For example, I can never remember what the bloody name is for the glistering man now, Rather than being called glistering, it's um, it's it's shining, it's um, sparkling, it's um, uh, bitty melon, fluffy, bitty, uh, bitty melon. It might be speckled, I think, but uh, speckled. It's it's not quite a hundred percent consistent. Speckled. Yes, old boy. It's not fully consistent at the moment, but nonetheless, fails. There is a new system of item names as opposed to item IDs to learn. There most certainly is. This is rather fun. What else have we got? Now earlier, of course, we showed you the adventure game mode, but did you know, old boy, about game mode three? Game mode three. Uh, mm, sounds new to me. As you can see, there you are! You are now in Game Mode 3 or Spectator Mode, and of course that puts you in a mode where you can no-clip, free-fly throughout the entire world and see what things are going on in the game world. You can see your fellow spectators by observing their translucent heads there. Hello, 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 chap! Hello. Yes, hello, hello there! And of course, it generally yes. gives you a rather interesting way to spectate what's going on. Ideal, for example, if you're playing a game with a number of people and want to spectate your rivals or friends. So in Game Mode 3, you're completely free! Uh, well, yes, of course, but you, the thing is, you can't actually interact with blocks, but it is rather handy for scouting out the land, seeing what's around, and uh, poking around, nosing around here in uh, Lewis and McComb's Redstone Creations, old chap. Very handy, I ah, say. Ah, yes, 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 it's extremely clever for that. So no, but all this, old boy, lovely. Oh, it looks rather fun. So this is rather fun, is it not? I'm also in this mode, you know. You are, old chap. But of course, as you can see, a little bit of lag there. Now, on the subject of lag, also interestingly, as you yes. can see, beneath the uh, surface of the Minecraft world, uh, steady on, old chap, what's going on here? We have some clever trickery either implemented now or coming very soon, yes. which of course has given us some performance boosts, whereby the game has been optimised to ensure that things such as caves, which you don't normally see underground, yes. are not actually always rendered. Uh -huh. This means, of course, that you save a PC performance power, which is translated into more FPS for your system. Ah, oh, my goodness me, so they're not rendered. When you're not there, they're not there. Exactly. So there's no, aha. Uh -huh. My goodness, so that, that saves on whatever and makes things everything, well, it makes it all quicker, yes? It makes it faster, in layman's terms, old boy. Yes. By, in other words, not rendering or not showing things that it doesn't have to show. My goodness me, wait a minute. Um, imagine if that's what it's like in real life. If oh. when it's, yes, if, when you're not there, things aren't really there. Things aren't really there. Yes, another such pond sludge philosophy. Pond sludge philosophy. Yes, old yes, boy. Yes, if a tree falls in the forest, does it make a bunny rabbit sign? Uh, uh, no, no, it makes the sound of a gerbil. Gerbils? Yes, oh. no, it does. I was there. I said the tape recorder up and it said it. Now, of course, Fidels, there are a whole slew of new features in addition to the ones we've shown here, such as underwater, ocean monuments, my word, there's bunny rabbits, there's brand new features here, there and everywhere. This really is one of the largest updates Minecraft has ever seen, and I dare say you have to get your teeth into this, you know. You most certainly do. Now, have a look at that link, or go to the link just above there or wherever, because that's where we've shown all the other bits when we did it the other day. Yes, we did, old boy, so do dash along and have a look at that diagram as well, I say. Yes, it's rather fun. Yes. Oh, your Vicarousness, we haven't seen you for ages. Have you heard about all these updates, your Vicarousness? Hello, Bertie. Have you come to bring your offering? Um, uh, uh, yes, uh, an offering of you, your Vicarousness. Oh, there's loads of things, and did you know you can make things all 3D? Imagine what that will mean. Look, I fitted this lever to your wall, so that any time your whole congregation can be blessed with a wonderful 3D church at the flick of the lever. Really, Bertie? Oh, yes, I'll show you. Look, there but, you Bertie, what are you doing with that lever, El Shep? Oh, is it in work? Uh, well, uh, 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 what's that side do? I say I signed the window, El Shep, but the bunny raising boss going on there. The oh, poor man's eyes. What have you done, man? It, it, it wasn't me. Uh, uh, Mr. Mayor, um, I think it was a fault. Quick, this way. The bunny digger, you've, you've damaged his church as well. What are you doing? Get back in one score. I think we're doing something else, I say. I'm going to go to sing once more. The next guy had any goddess me, El Shep. That's the one. I'll keep working on it, your Vicarousness, and give you an update.